Good morning. I'm at Wild Adventures in Valdosta, Georgia today. This is their opening day. This is one of the parks that actually closes uh, seasonal. About, I, I guess maybe like two months. They close for like two months out of the year and then they uh, of course uh, open back up. And today's the day they open back up. We're going to go in. We're going to see what they've got new, what, what they've uh, updated, uh, any food items they got. We're just going to go in here. We're going to check out the park, see what's going on. So uh, let's run in here right now. All right, this year gone are the the giant bugs and back are the dinosaurs moving, roaring. Can you hear him? All right, so today if you are one of the lucky 200 uh, first 200 customers to come through or first 200 guests to come through today you get to hold an alligator and they give you a free ticket to come back at another date. So uh Maybe I'll be one of those lucky 200. <laughs> so they got a bunch of guests uh, coming. Lone Star, Larry the Cable Guy, Foreigner. Wow, they've been around for a long time. And Jeremy Camp, Scotty McCready from uh, American Idol, Boys to Men. We all remember them. Casting Crowns is always a favorite. Lauren Daigle this year. Uncle Cracker Air Supply, that's another one that goes way back. Skillet, they're always a huge favorite here at the park. So, uh, yeah, it's a lot of good good uh, musicians, concerts coming this year. Some of the little alligators, like right in this water right over here. I don't know if the camera picks it up very good or not, but there's some alligators in, uh, in the water just kind of, kind of swimming around. Again, I'll walk over in just a minute. But uh, this is a new addition to the park. Uh, was announced midway through last year so uh, let's walk around and get, get a better look at it oh wow they've really opened up the this whole area for uh, the, it's like the kids play area always been like the kids zone kid uh, where the kid rides are and that kind of thing so discovery outpost alligator alley gator bridge fun filled rides it's a pretty good bit of stuff around here Got a uh, little, little kids rides. Hey, we're gonna go ahead and head right over here to uh, Alligator Alley. Do not feed the alligators. Oh yeah, so check out the alligators right over here. Just kind of sunbathing. This is the little bridge for them to walk across. Uh, where you can look down through the net below you and you can see the alligator, little al little, little bitty alligators swimming around. Let's come over here to uh, this spot right here. It's kind of an area where you can get a better look at them. They're just out sunbathing. <laughs> Check out this little guy right over here. He just kind of kind of floating in the water. That's pretty cool. That's my favorite right here. It's my favorite little guy right here. Just floating around. Not a care in the world. Who knows they'll feed him. Waiting for the next meal time. The Gator Bridge, no guests may be carried. Guests must walk themselves. Man, you gotta secure your stuff just in case they jump up and grab it. All right, Gator Bridge. We're walking across the top of the Gators. It's not the easiest thing to walk across. You see them down there? I think they're big enough to at least eat a foot. Out to the other side. Got a little outpost general store, I guess where they sell like gator food. 
Well, this is gator food. I don't know if they sell gator food. This is gator food. Got a bunch of little uh, stuffed gators. $17.99 for, for this guy. Chomps, chomps. And you got this guy for $19.99. A little bit bigger than that one. I think I like this guy better. I don't know. This one actually looks more like a gator, though. This is my favorite. This is abs absolutely. Look at it. Check him out. Look. That is cool. He is $7.88. I like him. I may come back and get him. I might come back and get him later. Oh, that is awesome. That is awesome. Darth Gator. $16.99 for the Darth Gator shirt. Tough guy shirt. $16.99. I like the, the Darth Gator better. Oh, this one right here is $19.99. Bunch of little little shirts for, uh, for the little Tykes. $16.99. I like this guy too. $4.99. Look at him. He's chilling. He's relaxing. And I do like that shirt. Welcome to our swamp. And then you come out to the spinning alligators. Well, dragons. They look like alligators, but they actually have like a like a puff the magic dragon tail. Oh. I don't know if they're supposed to be gators with just a funny tail or well they got wings too so I guess uh, that answers that question Puff the magic dragon gator looks like the kids are having a lot of fun around this area I mean who doesn't like to crawl across an anaconda's back this is new Swamp water snake. Little uh, kids coaster. Looks like it does a lot of winding. Shouldn't be too scary for the little tykes because uh, I don't see any drops or anything like that. So they've shifted some things around. Again, it looks a lot better this way. A lot more spacious. Let's go up here and get a better look at the uh, the air, like an aerial shot. Maybe get uh, get a better look at the new area from kind of like a bird's eye view, I guess. All right, let's see if we can get a better view. Kind of an aerial shot. We're rocking. Not too scary. All right, so this is the new area right over here. Just on the other side of the little coaster. As I've said before, it's a lot more opened up now. There's the little bridge that you walk across right over here. And the dragon gator puff, the magic dragon gator ride. It's right over, right over here. So uh, good little aerial shot of the whole park. I think some of these rides could do for a repaint. We're on the moon. This thing's rocking a pretty good bit. Pretty sure. Uh, Pretty sure those screws will hold. Maybe. Hopefully. And right out there. Right over there is where I parked the car. Not that you care. What's this area back here? I'm gonna go check that out. Little golf area. 
have never done the mini golf. I want to come over and get a look at this uh, adventure golf. It's like a pretty decent little golf course there. Got a rooster back here. Heffalumps. I don't see any woozles. Yeah, we'll definitely have to uh, come back and come back and do this. Like I said, it comes with the with the gold pass, the gold season pass that I have. So I'll definitely be back to give this a try. Guys, as I keep walking through the park, one thing that keeps coming to mind is Terror in the Wild. I can't wait this year. Every year has been better than the year before. I'm looking forward to this year. Put a couple links up, or at least one link right up here for uh, one of the uh, times last year when I came and uh, got a little footage for you. So go check that one out and uh, let's go check some more of this park out. Can you play at the bungos? Bungo, 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 bungo. I like this one. I'm ready for my contract. As I mentioned coming in, this is the year of the dinosaurs are back at Wild Adventures. Dinosaur Explorer, we will definitely be coming back to go through this Dinosaur Explorer, see if it's any different than it was last time, just check it out. But uh, that won't be today, that'll be at another time. This is the Brachiosaurus. Huge, he's huge, he's huge. Another entrance to the Dinosaur Explorer area. Pteranodon. And that's probably about the last one I'm going to try to pronounce. Kentrosaurus. You'd think maybe he's kin to Clark Kent. Megalosaurus. Could imagine seeing one of those guys in the wild. All right, so according to this, the Pteranodon was not a dinosaur, but it was a flying species of reptile. Here where it says how it was, uh, it would like fly low and scoop its beak through the water, picking up fish and squid. Kind of makes you think of some of them other birds that uh, do the very same thing. Bird lizard. Thanks a lot, Jurassic Park. You know, as you walk around, you look at the size of, uh, like, the scale size of a dinosaur, and you just really begin to wonder, at least I begin to wonder, could we actually coexist with dinosaurs? According to Jurassic World, Jurassic Park, I'm going to say no. Disclaimer, Jurassic World and Jurassic Park are just movies. They're not real. Somebody said they, they lost their dog here in the park. Like he's he's about uh, about this tall. Like uh, they can't find him. Uh, so if you happen to see him, again he's about this tall. If you happen to see him, hey, let somebody know. Hello dude. Hello. Hello Wallaby. It's a wallaby. That's the best I can do. He just keeps staring at me. I think he wants to fight. Check out the alpacas. I'll pack my stuff and get out of here. Bye, Chester. Bye, Felicia. Get away from me. Get away from me. Yep, there he 
There goes Felicia. She gone. That's what happens. That's what happens. Oh, now he's trying to be nice. Oh, nope. Not even trying to be nice. Gosh. Never learn. Oh, somebody have called the cops on them. Well, guys, I didn't find any new food offerings here at Wild Adventures to check out. But they did find uh, plenty of things to come back for. Lots of excitement. It's the first day of the season. The park's packed now. There's people moving all around. Uh, everybody's excited. It's going to be a good season. A lot of things to look forward to. A lot of things to come back for. Uh, definitely looking forward to Terror in the Wild as always. Uh, but I'm going to get out of here because it is getting a little warm. I mean, it's, it's March and we're in the south and it starts getting hot pretty early. So I'm gonna head out of here, but I got one thing I gotta do first. So let's go. I shall call him Ernest. And we shall say good day.